Hey guys, it's me. Happy Sunday. I am running 15 minutes late. Bet you thought I wasn't getting on here, didn't you? Well, your girl has been out in the yard all day driving her tractor. It's Chris's birthday, and all he wanted to do was have a cold one and um, watch the master. So um, I said, you get it. And then he came out there and goes, you're doing the stuff that I wanted to do. And I'm like, you gotta pick. Gotta pick which one's more fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, um, Let's see if I come up. I'm trying to put you on. There we go. I'm trying to put you on Sin's, uh, I mean, Chris's computer so I can read your comments. Hey, Sherry. Uh, have, I'll tell him. He's outside. He'll come in in a minute. He's been watching the Masters, and it's over with now, but he's having a good time out there on his porch. But, y'all, your girl. I mean, I had to go in there. I don't know why I took a shower this morning because I just... Did, got some tree limbs out the edge of the pond that smelled like, I don't even know how to describe how bad they are. And then the tractor jerked and it like, it like splattered me all. Oh, I smell, it smell. But I got it out, I got it done. I got my whole uh, uh, French drain uh, pulled back. I mean, I, t I told Chris once, I said, Instead of John Deere, you know, I'm thinking Deere is like a boy, even though it's not. That's a bug. But I said, they're going to call me um, John Doe because I'm a girl, Deer, and I rocked that tractor today. Sounds like a good choice for a birthday. Love golf terms, and I don't play golf. Yes, he. Lo I love to play, but I do not like to watch. That's like watching somebody else have fun. I couldn't have watched anybody sit there and have fun on that tractor. I had a ball. I was weaving all in and out of, of the water. Knowing if I would have gotten stuck, I would have cried. <laughs> but I had a really good time. My husband watched it also. Hello from Connecticut. All right. Hey, Carol from Utah. Hey, Mahala. You working yourself to death. I really had a good time. I worked a lot today. A lot, a lot. But... I worked a lot on that tractor, so that's fun. And it's, I mean, what, like this is tired. <laughs> but it was really fun. I got to like dig a French drain, toting her on. If his daddy was watching across the pond, I bet he was like, what is Chris doing? She's doing all the work. But I was really having a good time. But yes, it's his birthday. He's 53 today. And Mimi turns 98 today. He and his grandmother that he takes care of, they have the same birthday. Um, so what did you did? Um, Janet, I dug a probably, let's see, I'm 5'10", so about 17 foot trench for a French drain. We're making a new flower bed on this side of our house, and we've got to make three French drains, one for the air conditioner, two for the gutters. So that's what I started doing. I just... Went and got the pressure washer and washed that side of the house really well. Not so much fun. Awesome when you get finished pressure washing, but you know, after the end, you know, you're like, okay, I'm tired. So then I got one of the French drains done and he can walk out the door and he was like, I thought you were just kind of pressure wash. You're, that's what I want to do. And I'm like, well, either you're going to wash the masters and have fun or you're going to come out here with me and have fun. Oh, I'll be right there with you on that tractor. Yes, Debbie, it was a lot, a lot of fun. Darlene, I will tell, I'll read off all the comments when I'm off, so I'll let him know who all told him happy birthday. I want to tell you a couple of things. I had to pick up bleach to do my um, uh, pressure washing. So I was like, gosh, I'm not going to go to the grocery store. I'm just going to run in here to our Dollar General, y'all, which is horrible. But I did get a couple of little things. You know, of course, I got to peruse by the uh, crafts thing. 
And on, what's on them isn't too bad. It's like love, love and patience. Love is kind. It always protects, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on and on. But I thought these little easel things were really cute. If we ever, and they were only a dollar. And let me plug up my phone before we um, lose uh, power. I didn't even think about that. Um, so even if we ever make a little project out of it, it could be, hey, right beside my bed, will you get my whole little tower? My phone is going to go dead. They can, it can be a stand for a project or we can make a project out of itself. So I grabbed just a couple of them. Um, I don't know why they had, it's fall, let's tailgate y'all some, um, uh, yeah, just plug it in right there, and I usually keep it on the corner. I don't know if they were just cleaning out their back stock, but I thought it was really cute. You know, and we built big tailgaters for the football. No, it didn't go in there. Oh, yeah, there it goes. All right. Um, so, I grabbed that. They were just a dollar. And, y'all, you know, I'm not afraid to ask for anything. They actually had some cute... Uh, flowers. You know, I told you I'm always looking for greenery. Um, came across the only two they had, and this is in the Dollar General, so I was impressed. Two long stems of the um, lamb's ear, and they had these pretty, I, I, I rarely I buy any what color in them, but I just thought it was really, you know, a good little uh, find. But they had an empty box, y'all, and this was in the box, I guess, telling you how much things were. And I asked the guy, I was like, can I have that? Because <laughs> I think it's just like a cool little sign, you know, like farmer's market type signs. He was like, sure, you can have it. I'm just going to throw it in the trash can. So that's what I got. I would paint those orange leaves red. Orange leaves red. Orange leaves red. I don't really know what leaves we're talking about, but um, I wasn't really sure. I missed something. Um, I want to have a long swag for my fireplace. Any ideas how to start? Um, I don't. What do you mean, like a garland swag? Um, for every day, it just depends on what you're into. I mean, if you're a farmhouse, you know, you can do anything with burlap, and it doesn't have to be like little rabbits all the way across or whatever the uh, season is. Just think of what your decor is. Fall, sun. Oh, you're talking about the fall. Oh, the little leaves red on the napkins. Oh, okay. You did good with the shopping. Yes, and I lied to y'all last night. I saw this in the Dollar General, three bucks. So evidently that's where I got my little can the other night when I thought I'd gotten it from the Dollar Tree. But mine had a little um, yellow flower. So see how it's not a terrible little cluster. So what I did was I just snatched the whole thing out and I kept the whole cluster. But I actually liked this cluster. Mine was mainly yellow and it, it wasn't this cute. Um, but that's what I did. I got it at the Dollar General. So if you've got good Dollar General and you need one of those little milk can things, that's where I got it from. So I grabbed another one so I could show you. But the main thing I grabbed that I really thought was great, uh, great $8. And um, it's kind of like I would think like a little cathedral art, cathedral sign, uh, tabletop arch. Things like that. They had this color, two color different, like a light brown and a dark brown. If they had another color, our Dollar General didn't have it. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull this off. And I see glue. I was hoping it was just those tacks or whatever. Because we are going to crackle finish this. But I want to paint the arch first a terracotta color. And then we're going to crackle white over it. I got a long one here. My sister took me with one of the drives today. She took me to the Dollar Tree and Dollar Jenner to buy craft things. She's wanting me to have enough to craft when I'm recovering from surgery. Oh, 
I'm going tomorrow to see the floor surgeon and I'm hoping he will do surgery. I've been turned away because I am high risk. Oh, Darlene, I'm so sorry. Oh, that looks interesting. Kentucky, beautiful day. Beautiful and windy in Knoxville, Tennessee today. It, um, so I'm not looking good. Something was malfunctioning. Um, it was cloudy at first, but not, this is kind of weird to say, not like really cloudy. I mean, the sun wasn't out, but it was like right in the morning before the sun comes out. It was weird. Um, so, you know, I would just say like a little cloudy. Really good breeze all day, even though it was supposed to be 79. To me, it felt cooler. I, I wore my leggings outside, y'all, and I, that doesn't happen for me. Um, but finally the sun did come out. I'm surprised. I didn't have a hat or anything on it. My cheeks aren't really red. But y'all are seeing less of me because I have lost a total of 11.4 pounds. So y'all seeing a little less of me. Hey from Bowling Green. Hello from Bowling Green. Rained all day in Ohio. I'm sorry. Cold and breezy here in West Virginia. Uh, it was supposed to rain. The last time I looked at the weather was like Wednesday. Wednesday? And it said it was like 40% Friday, 50% Saturday, and there was some percentage maybe back down to 40. Um, um, Sunday, but now one time it looked like it may rain here but not really it, i mean it could have down the road one of those type things come on i mean i can see the glue heating it up and i do not want to break this it's a piece of wood i really want it All right, let's see. I think I'm getting it off. So maybe these tacks are tacked down. Yep. Ha! They do have a little tack. See it? All right, well, this I'm not going to worry so much about. I could do the other side. But I would still need to get this off. You know I don't want it to be ugly on the back. Let's see, does the front look any different than the back? Mm -mm. Yeah, so we'll do the back. Thank you so much, Janice. Way to go with the weight loss. Yay, I'm happy you and your loss. Uh, uh, rooting for the healthiest. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Yes, I feel really, really good today. I'm craving things like pregnant people. Like yesterday when I went to the grocery store, all I wanted was some guacamole. Now, five years ago, if you'd have told me I would eat an avocado, much less crave it, love it any way I can get it, I would have said you were a liar and you're crazy but I love it now. So I made me some homemade guacamole last night. And I made these, uh, like instead of a taco shell, like romaine lettuce, get one of the, the leaves. And I mean, and I put that guacamole in it, like somebody was gonna steal it from me, just a gob. And then I put the meat all the way down the top of it. And um, had three of them. But then I went to sleep because I was super tired. I don't know what's going on with this, but let's see if we can see it a little bit from the back. It's still right there. Does the Kushi Kushi dance for your woohoo 11 pounds? Doing the, oh, okay, do. Thank you so much. Do it, girl. Do me, do, do all kind of dances for me because I'm super proud of myself. And I'm telling you, the eating part, not hard. I'm not a drinker, so the drinking is not, 
dairy. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Who, who doesn't want to eat cheese? But, you know, I, I don't do macaroni and cheese. I do whole foods. So when I'm eating, like, a lot of good sauteed broccoli or, you know, I don't want cheese. So I'm really not missing that. I'm not a big cereal milk eater like Chris is. Poor baby. He couldn't do this. Um... But, um, and the, and the grain, I really haven't seen anything, you know, like I, I stay so full on all these fresh vegetables. That hasn't been a big deal. Now sugar, I don't think I couldn't eat a whole cheesecake right now by itself. Um, or, you know, I don't crave the sweets. I crave, um, my diet. Right, like this water, but I'll tell you, I'm drinking more water, but I think it's because I'm thirsty. Today's the 11th, so this is my 13th day. When I've never went 13 days without any kind of diet drink, crystal light, I'm talking about anything but water. So that's more of a give me some congratulations on than the weight. Mm. I'm thirsty because I've been outside for hours, and that's, that's what I'm bad of. I've been outside on that tractor since probably 12.30, and I have not had a drop to drink. Thank goodness it wasn't that hot. All right. This is going to have to be a little concoction for me right here. I got just like a little tray out because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I need to make a terracotta, and I went into the boutique here that sells... Um, Wise, at, not wise, at, Dixie Bell paint. And, because they do sell a terracotta. She didn't have any. So, I've got to make my own. And I'm trying to think. Terracotta. I'm looking at. Trying to think, didn't I have a terracotta? Terracotta is that, like, um. Uh, Red, but orange. That makes any sense. And this is almost all gone anyway. So, if I make a good terracotta color, I may keep it in here. Okay. So, now I'm concocting colors because I really want it to be um, from Mississippi. What were you on last night? No, I was not, Judy. Usually, I take Friday and Saturday off, but I was on Friday because I remember Tuesday. I didn't come on, and uh, Sunday night is is my night to come on. Gosh, let's see if we hit it very first thing. I think it needs a little bit more red. And colors are weird on the TV for y'all. I mean, on the camera, so I'm trying to think. Does that look like a terracotta? It kind of looks like one to me. I used a barnyard uh, red and just a pumpkin orange, like a, just a straight orange. Let's see. You're only going to be able to see a little bit of it through the crackle. But I think, y'all, we looked out on the first get-go. I guess this... I mean, it'll dry a little bit more ashy. You know, sometimes they look a little ashy, the uh, terracotta color is. I don't want to get this little white base because we're going to crackle it white. So, and we're going to use the Elmer's glue to crackle it. But I love these windows, and I'm not going to do this to it, but I'm going to tell you a few things that I thought about doing to this window that I think you would really enjoy it, especially if you have a bright, sunny window you can set a good craft in, like maybe your kitchen or something. And I did it on the back side, remember? So it may seep in. It's kind of uh, seeping in that 
because it's not really wood. It's that pressed um, junk, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, MDF board is what some people call it, which is when it's in a board, but it's just like pressed cardboard. All right, so we got to make some more. Probably should have made a ton in case I don't make the same color. But remember, um, when, you know, when you crackle something, you only see you know, a little bit behind it. Do you use a little brown bag too? Do you use a little brown bag? A little brown bag to do what? I wasn't paying attention. Ask me again. Who won the Masters? I don't know, Freddie. All I heard was Chris said it was the first person ever from Japan. So, and I think he, I asked him if it was expected and he said, yeah, he's really good. So, if you know anything about the Masters, I mean like golfers, you'll know. I've been on the tractor all day, Freddie. But maybe if Buffy walks in here, I'll say his name again. Who won the Masters? You said it again. Um, Buffy. She may be back outside with her yes. dad. Hey, who won the Masters? Uh, Hideki Matsuyama. Hideki. Matsuyama. Matsuyama. He's from Japan. I think they said like maybe... 18 or 15 years ago, he was like the amateur um, for the Masters or something like that. He's the first Japanese. I know he's the first Japanese, but it seems like when I walk by your daddy watching TV, like 18 years ago, he won like the Masters, the low, amateur. low amateur, the Masters before. So, I mean, he's a really great golfer, I take it. He was 19, he was 19 when he won the amateur, Buffy said, at the Masters. Um, but what it sound like? Hi, what is that? Hi to keep what? I don't know. It sounded like it sounded like something, you know. When you say, I don't want to say it. I was fixing to say it. it sounded like she said his name was Hi to Key, but I'm from I, I'm yeah, I'm off with pronunciation. Freddie, does that answer your question? Y'all having a good time at Tybee without me. Maybe I would have wanted to go to Tybee. Y'all didn't think about me. No, I got way too much to do. I got track to Tybee. All right, and now I'm just getting in between. Try not to put too much that'll seep on the back, but I'll probably end up having to put a coat on the back. But there's a lot of little cracks and stuff in here. Buffy, how do you say the guy's name again? How to kick what? Matsuyama. 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 What why where am I getting high to key from? Matsuyama. Whatever, y'all don't y'all don't know why I can butcher up somebody's name. Who won Pretty Design? Who won the Master Sprinkle? Thank you so much. Y'all being awful quiet, or is it because I'm being awful quiet? I'm just filling in these little quarters with terracotta, and it seems like I'm having to do a lot of work to mainly cover it up. But we're going to crackle finish, and we're going to crackle finish with something that I know you have at your house. Elmer's glue, white glue, you know, they don't call it Elmer's, I think, when you buy it at um, the Dollar Tree. So, if you have, like, just white glue from the Dollar Tree, um, you can use that. You can go into your kid's supply, your grandkid's supply. That's all you need. Now, I'm not really sure on this crackle. I need to do a little bit more research about um, what paint you can use because the person that I watched do it used regular paint on YouTube, um, like uh, acrylic paint. I have the little tubers. 
I'm thinking once the you know glue dries, it separates, that maybe you can use chalk paint. But I do not know that 100%. So I had to break out my acrylic paint. We're going old school tonight. Now this is chalk paint because it's just underneath. And the reason why I wanna go ter do terracotta is I crackle finished my terracotta pots that I'm getting ready to make my herb garden for my window. I crackle painted all them, so. And, and you know, terracotta is really dry and porousy, so kinda like um, your, um, Um, kind of like your chalk paint is. So, y'all, so excited this morning getting up on the scales and seeing that weight gone. I was like, woohoo! <sighs> Just to know, I mean, I am moving. It seems like I'm not more doing things, staying busy. Um, but it's not like I'm outside lifting weights and all that. Now there was a couple of days that you know probably getting up and off, the up and out. Let me go ahead and paint this back. It's gonna drive me nuts. Um, getting up and down off the ground when I was doing that sprinkler. But it's it shows you that diet can be a lot of your problem sometimes. Don't get me wrong. I don't think you can lose a hundred pounds by just changing your diet, I don't think most people can. If you can, it's you're the exception to the rule. But it's let it's let me know that something that I'm cutting out is I, I'm either getting too much of it, but I just I feel better, and I'm sure I feel better because endorphins are kicking in when I lose weight, and you're happy and and, and things like that. But it does um, feel really good to uh, see a difference. I mean, don't you hate when you give something up and you don't see anything difference? Because it really isn't a weight loss. I think it's just like a gut health thing and, you know, cleaning out your system and all that kind of stuff of stuff you really just don't need that can get stuck in your gut and all that kind of stuff so but i'm treating it like a diet because i'm doing exactly what it tells me to do and i'm losing weight so evidently my diet is my problem not the, not the motivation or the things i do every day y'all are probably just asking me Cool color. I used to crackle paint a lot. I have a clear glaze paint that crackles any paint. I'm excited to see how to do it with glue. Yes. Listen, the last time I crackled like a, it was like the sides of a, um, like a shelf or something. You know, I had to go and get this special crackle stuff and, you know, and you put it on there and all, all this kind of stuff. So, when I watched this person do it with like Elmer's glue, something you had it, I was like, I gotta see how to do this. And I'm not super, super excited about the color. Um, but I really want that light terracotta look on the back side of my Um, oops, I did not mean to touch that, but I'm sure I'll have to touch all that up down there. Okay. Let me grab one of my little pots that I did that I'll show you. I got about six or seven of these and I'm putting them in a long container. And I crackled it this morning. All right, now according to the rules, which we'll put this to the side, and this has got to be extremely dry. Of 
according to the light little rules the lady told me is when you put your um glue on it and y'all are gonna laugh at me i had to decoupage this big thing one day so i have like all this glue and i found this little bitty tiny thing so i thought if i needed more glue than about that almost halfway through i've got that container okay what she said on there and and i don't think it takes any any special um paintbrush because i use the paintbrush she used one of those sponge applying things you know that you know those little disposable things and and both of ours look the same way so i really think anything that'll brush on is fine i uh, miss some on the top and the inside let's see did i now see if i can find the brush i have Yep, there it is. I'm gonna have to use my little, all right. Well, I've got a bunch of runs anyway, so let's see. And this has got to be extremely dry. See those little runs? I need to, ooh, I see what you're talking about. Thank you, girl, thank you. Need to get some of those drips anyway. Okay. Okay. We'll put that over there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, uh, before I do this, I think I'll, it'll be easier for me to explain it when I'm not doing it. Okay. As I was holding my terracotta pot, if you take your glue and you put your glue on it and you put it thick on there, you will have bigger cracks. I did, this is not one I did the bottom. If you, uh, let me grab one that I did the bottom. Um, I didn't really so much care about the bottoms, but I wanted to see what she meant. She said that if you do your glue really thin, you'll get little tiny cracks. So see, if you like this more, then do your glue really thin. But I kind of like the fact that, you know, they were bigger cracks. And I don't mean the size of the cracks. I mean like the space in between it too. So like if you look at here and here how you know big and chunky it seemed and i i put a good little amount of glue on it um but on the bottom i just kind of ran my brush across it but see it makes just tinier cracks so you really have to and i made like six of these to put in uh, my little herb garden so um you really you know if you're gonna do like multiple little things practice um, because I'm pretty sure you can do it on just about everything. One hole is still white. One hole is still white. All right. And I see which one you're talking about. How do y'all catch that? I guess maybe the glare of the light, I don't see. Cracks. Okay. All right. So when I put, when I apply my glue to this, and she just poured her glue all over whatever she was doing, I just kind of, and then space it out. I, I, I'm going to kind of brush mine on it. Um, cause you know, it's, it's got a lot of little pieces and what she was showing was you something flat, uh, white spots on the top. I'm not worried about them because I'm going to crackle it white. We're going to use our, um, just some white acrylic, but I'm still using, where is it? Matte finish. So, um, 
it's still, you know, a little barnyardy. It's just, I've got to go back. I think you probably can use your chalk paint. I, she just didn't in it, and I didn't have time when I went out um, before I was going outside early this morning to see if you could. I didn't want to go, oh, look at this, and then it didn't crackle. All right. Um, hey, uh, Brenda, stained glass would be pretty in the inside. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. Any kind of, like, um, um, what do you call those things? Uh, window cleans that you could get like a large enough piece and do different colors and these little cracks i got some too much paint we'll make sure this is really really dry before we put this glue on it i don't know how that would react so But a really pretty brown would look pretty. A, even a black would look really pretty. Crackle through. Because you, you see on the cans, I mean, on, on the pot, you don't see a lot of the crackle. You know what I mean? You, it's more white with a, you know, type of color background. White spots on the top. Yeah. I see them right there. They have them at Home Depot window clean. Yes. Um, any kind of, um, well, I mean, really, you know, at Christmas time, Walmart had window cleans, but um, any kind of uh, hobby store is probably gonna have window cleans. So it's going to take me just a minute to, because all these little places, these little crooks, and then they got pools of paint in them. Should have dry brushed some of them. Because, like I said, you wouldn't have seen it. Um, can my stencil, hold on. Got my stencil today. This heifer was so excited. You got your heifer, please. Y'all, I, I, this place that I wanted to hang it is too big for it. So I've got to like move some stuff around because I'm putting this up. There's one place like below, like I have two baskets hanging up, like wired baskets. And I wanted to put it below. And both of like, you can't put that down below when it's something that has words on it. Um, you have to be able to see it. Um, when it's words, but I mean, I don't care. You got stuff all over your kitchen. Some things just gonna be below your waist. Clean, yes. Glad I caught you watching you in American Idol. I don't think, I've never watched American Idol. I don't, I've never been into things like that. My sisters have. Lynn, Lord, I think she used to like call in and vote. Is that the one you vote on? There's one she used to vote on. I'm like, are you kidding me? And she's like, yeah, girl. And be mad when whoever didn't win, but she won't win to win. Gosh, that's been a long time ago, though. How much was the arch? $8 at um, Dollar General. I've never bought them anywhere else, so I don't know where to tell you if one is cheaper or, I mean, I'm sure they have things like this at Hobby Lobby. You know, sometimes like the woodwork will go on sale for 50%, so you may can even find it cheaper than $8. But I thought $8 was pretty good. It stands up. It's really solid, you know. It's not really thin. It's, it feels really sturdy. And, you know, the Elmer's glue, what I'm fixing to do to it, I have everything else. So, I'm okay with my $8 project. It's, the, it's these little grooves that had paint, like little clumps of paint in them. I'm trying to make sure that they're dry really good. All right, I 
think we're about there. Okay. Now, the way she said on hers is she said, put it on there, give it about 30 seconds, let it get tacky. But there were a couple that I forgot that I just started putting um, my paint on. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my paint ready. Hold on, that's what I use my terracotta for. So let me make sure this is really can. Hey girl, hey Michelle. Yes, you can't, you call in to vote. I don't do that, but what very talented singers this year. Um, no, she like was texting something one time. Don't, can you text to vote or, 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 you know, I may be thinking about a whole nother show. You can't ever tell with me. That red is gonna be hard to get out of this brush, but I just, and I have burnt myself with my glue gun and I'm not even using it. And, and y'all, my other battery is missing. I think Buffy and them have used my saw. But I'm fixing to order me some new Ryobi uh, batteries, the ones that are about double that size, because we've gotten where like she's using she used it for my saw. I think I see it from right here. And um they need the saws and all that. I mean, they work really good. They just, this will last an hour and a half, but it doesn't last an hour and a half when you're using the saws. So I think I'm gonna get me some bigger batteries. Went to Kirkland's last year and found two big ones for $20. Oh my gosh, when you scored. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on kind of thick, y'all. And it may be a little hard, harder for me than say it was for me to do this because I just went around the cup, put my glue on it, went went back around the cup with my white paint. I'm dealing with a lot of little nooks and crannies here. So I think that I'm gonna do the thinner just because clunking it up in these holes and then putting paint in it, I just don't know what that's gonna turn out. I like the like clunky kind, the kind that you put like a bigger amount and maybe we'll, do this part where we, we can do it a little bit chunkier. Um, but I'm gonna do this just a little bit thinner because of all these little like areas that I have to do. Yeah, that Ryobi gun gets hot. Yeah, I just touched it with my arm like a doofus. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do all my, all my little nuts and crannies. Nuts and crannies. If I get runs with this, I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna try to go in order so you aren't telling me you missed the spot. Look at me, Tom. I'm going order and I didn't. Really trying to not do the little clumps in the corner again. So I'm gonna hold it upside down like this. So I'll make sure I brush that part out good in the little arch part. Okay, here we go. Arch. One. Arch two. Arch three, arch four, now these three. All right, I'm sorry I'm not looking at the comments, y'all. I'm just trying to hurry this up. Regular old Elmer's glue, the white glue from Walmart, any white glue, even if it's an, if an a, you know, off-brand name, it's fine. All right, let me get in that little, and that one. Okay, sure I have strings upon strings on the back. Okay, let me, Get it on this.
four legs. And now we're gonna go straight across here. They're watching them clunks. Arches, arms, arches, arches that way, okay, clumps, try to deal with these on the back. Back, I'm not so much worried about, but I'm at least trying to get a little bit on there. Okay. Regular Wilmer's glue. And we got it on there. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it's getting tacky, so I'm going straight to my white. Now, you're not going to see this until I start to use my um, glue gun to dry it because you got to remember now it's glue and you don't go if you've ever crackled you don't go back over your paint all right we're gonna go in here in here the cap might be better in here, in here. This one. Nooks and crannies. You know what we didn't do? The outside edge. It's already starting to crackle in certain places. So let me get a move on. I can't see where my glue is. I'm y'all I'm sorry if you're asking me a question I promise I'll go back or just hold off for a second till I can like look at you and I'll um, I'll answer them best I can and crannies first and then do the outside. I'll probably pick the messiest thing to show y'all this crackle with. But too late now. I have gotten pants. It's, I got my pajama pants on so because I had to strip down out my socks. I threw my socks in the trash can. I had like creek water on them. Let's see if I get some in there. Okay. We did the back. And the good thing about the back is we only have to do 
Lance. back will probably do better since I didn't have to worry about the cracks. So for your first project for this, do not attempt all these little areas. Do something flat like the pots I did. Okay. If I have some little funky clunks, I have to go back and straighten that paint up because I got terracotta paint. Oh, well, I hadn't used regular old acrylic paint in a while. Okay. Let's see. I got enough that I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Okay. So, you see now, it just looks like, I mean, some places it's trying to already crack, but the magic happens when we, uh, <laughs> when we turn our glue gun. Okay. Happy birthday, Chris. Hey, miss a spot on the top. Whoops. Let's see. Uh, Mrs. Spot on top, Mrs. Spot on top, top. Okay. Let's see, which is the front, which is the back? Okay. I hate these places that we've got runners. And it takes longer for this to dry. Even using my heat gun today, it's like I dried the paint but the glue under it still took a minute, you know, like when I, I it, feel, it felt like a little mushy when I picked it up. Okay, you can really see that center is starting to crackle. See the center? But, um, so even if you dry your, um, like I'm doing now, you dry the paint and everything that's on top, you got one little, Um, still give it a little bit longer because what I did was I just set mine to the side because like the paint felt all dry but it's like the glue was still you know needed a little bit uh, more can you do that on metal I don't know we hadn't tried it if I find something up here we'll try it on our little uh, tin um, little galvanized milk jug thing But I'm on. I forgot I painted this top. My fingers are touching it. I'm gonna put my gun on it, and you see how it's starting to crackle? See it? I got a bunch of little dots on the back. Drips. What I'm thinking. I think they're glue and paint drips. So let me. Yeah, this probably wasn't the best thing to show it to you on, but I thought it would be really pretty. See it? I'll show you some of the back that I'm doing. Let me really get this down here. But it's doing good on the inside. Some of the places that it was splotchy, not so much. But it still did it. The top, can you do that on metal? That looks awesome. Yeah, I, Elmer's glue. 
So all that time, you know, you're spending all that extra money on crackle crap. It's Elmer's way. I mean, when you when it finishes, it feels like it did when you bought that crackle stuff. Like you could seal it. It's dry. It's, yeah, the little clumpy parts take a little bit longer because I think it's a, a mixture of the clump of glue and a clump of the um, paint. But the bottom's looking pretty awesome. I haven't dried any of the top. Which we'll see which one looks the best when we're done. Um, what are you adding to this arch? I have got at the sign that already came on it. Which I kind of like. I don't like whatever that little fig leaf looking thing is. But I do like the gather part. And it has two nails to nail them back in. I don't know why I'm so worried about the center. That's what'll be covered up. I need to worry about the top and the sides. And I think both sides crackled awesome. Uh, can it be done with two different colors, like yellow, uh, blue and black. Yeah, I mean, when you crackle paint, it doesn't matter what's under it. I mean, you could we could have put black under this and put green on the top. Yeah, it, it it doesn't matter what you you know two colors you use. I mean, you can ombre it if you want to. I just know I wanted white to be the primary color. And um, I did the terracotta pots today and I just liked it. So I was like, I want to paint it terracotta. So it's like, you know, that's what'll come through. So I'm sorry, y'all. It does take a minute to dry. There's the bottom, how it's looking. The top. And here's the other side that we did really quick. If we didn't have such intricate little pieces, because, like I said, when I um, did the pots today, I mean, it is like a true crackle. You know what I mean? And that's on a really smooth surface. And I like really poured the paint and the glue to it. Um, all right. See, just a couple more shining spots. I'm worried about the top because that's the part that we're mainly going to see.
Um, don't rush perfection. I will tell Chris Ashford. Thank you so much, Re Rosemary. Listen, I get requests every day to uh, be a part of Sins Crafters. Please click on the button that uh, Rosemary just shared and be and, and follow Sims Crafters, y'all. I love the fact that everybody on there, they share their crafts from other crafters. They share uh, their take on another crafters, uh, my take, I mean, their take on something I've done. You get inspiration from everywhere. You can always ask, because I do, like, hey, where'd you get your materials? What's that material cost? Um, did you know, did you use coupon, whatever. Crafters always look out for other crafters. Um, so, are you asked to join. You don't have to fill out any kind of questionnaire. I you know, I take it. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I guess some people are just trying to weed out crazies, but I don't have any crazies following me. Um, so, uh, I don't make you pull out any questionnaire. I kind of got the glue gun, I mean, my heat gun a little close on that spot right there, but it was bubbling up, and I thought if I just did it harder, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Don't know if you can see that. Good and crackled. It crackled on the edge. I picked the worst thing in the world to crackle. Did it really good there. So I really have both sides. So I really like it. Okay, so let me get my little, all this oh, paint and all this. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to do what it's gonna do. Okay, this is the thing that came off of it. Oh, and they come right out. Not that I don't like them, I just think I don't want to change the color. Came with like, looks like two little furniture tags on them. I really like the gather. I don't necessarily like that little figgy tree looking thing, whatever it is. And Buff came up here and took her. Buffy! Busky Roni. I text her if, um, let me see if I can get it off with just a clean wipe. Sometimes I might get it off of that. Well, so you really are a great craft host. You make everyone feel welcome and like a friend. Sure, you have crazies. You have me. <laughs> um, no, that's not making it come off. Hold on for just a second. Is Buffy out there with you? Tell her I need her fingernail polish remover. Okay. I thought I kept kept it, but that's not working. I thought I kept it right there. I think I did tell her I was finished with it, but. Maybe I thought about bringing out our little that that and we can come up with our own thing. Flowers. Let's see what all I got, y'all. Since so like before I put these stencils up, I really would like a bless, and I know I have a bless in here, but I think it's too big. Um, I'm sure you have crazy me also. <laughs> Y'all are so crazy. Happy Easter. All right, let's see. That was just a farm. Fresh eggs. Y'all, farm fresh eggs. Remember eggs market? That would look really cute when I was hunting yesterday. Farm fresh, but that says sunflowers. Welcome to our farmhouse. Now... I kind of like that. I know this. Y'all, I kind of like that. You think it would be awful if I did welcome to our farmhouse on that? Um, flowers. I'm just trying to look at individual words on here because sometimes you can put just words on here. There's my market that I liked so much.
All right, let's see. I kind of really like that. Um, farm to farm, no. Before coffee, this is the blessed. But I'm pretty sure it's too big. Even if I took the little loopy loop off the end, it's too big. And y'all, and I have that book, and I still have not practiced. I would love to put like a big B on it, but I think that's way on out there. And these are just my big ones. All right, so what do you think? Just put Heffa on it. I'm thinking Heffa, please. I'm a God, God certified Heffa, please. Coffee. Here's my helper, please. Helper, please. I think I'm just going to go with that. It's my house, so. <laughs> Seeing you, your willpower is working. I can see your weight loss. You look great. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll tell you. I always, when I'm outside, I have no butt, poor thing, you know. Mine's all belly or here and here and here and here and here. You know, I don't like some people that just have like a nice round derriere. They can gain weight and their butt just gets bigger. And I'm like, yeah, your shirt still look fine. I, mine's everywhere. Well, anyway. Um... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, no, gosh, I forgot what I was going to say, and it was good. Um, oh, so, but I'm always having to pull my leggings up, like, pull them up, up, too big, too small, it doesn't matter. I always pull them up because I have no butt to hold them up. Well, where, where is Buff? She in her room? Ask her, grab her fingernail polish remover for me. Um... I always have to pull my leggings up um, constantly. I did not have to do that one time today. I worked in the yard all day today and did not have to pull them up one time. They just stayed at it. Like, you know, when I sat down on the track, it didn't roll down. It was super, super nice. Um, just put Hilva on it. You know chicken wire will be cute on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the back of it. I wish I had, like, I don't have any chicken wire, but I wish I had one of those baskets. She's not here? Where'd she go? Um, she would have told us if she went somewhere. Well, I'm not saying she can't go anywhere, but she would have told me. All right, well, come over here so everybody can tell you happy birthday. Yes, come over here. They all want to tell you happy birthday so I can grab her fingernail polish remover. Come on. He's my all man. All they want to do is tell you happy birthday. Yeah, well, come over here. I need to go get her, chick her chicken wire. Her um, fingernail polish remover, and I, they want everybody. Happy birthday, Chris! Happy birthday, Chris! They oh, love let me, you. Let me fix my hair. He's talking about let me fix my hair. <laughs> he has not had a haircut in forever. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of junk over here. So don't trip over it. So I'm 43 today. So this is live. I'm 53. Thank y'all for saying happy birthday. And they, they're all telling you happy birthday. I, I said thank you for the happy birthday. I I'm pretty sure that, hey, hold up. No shit, everything went south, baby. I didn't touch anything. I know 
I haven't touched anything. But I think it, hey, look, I'm looking over there. There's no <clears throat> service light. Now, I'm pretty sure they can't see me. All right. Holy shit, they, I think they can. It's 127 people. Yeah, that means they can see you. I've got the comments. There's 127 people looking at me, and I'm, and I'm half out my mind. They're half seeing you. All right, hold up. Hey. Thank y'all. It'll come back on. Anyway, in that's off, but that stayed on. Yes, good. Go on back out to your golf. Mm. Your hips going. Your hips going out on you. He's talking about hips going out on me. Sorry, we're having trouble playing this video. That's because our internet's out. Let me turn on the comments on here because Lord have mercy. Yes, we can. We can see you. We can. We Yeah, my phone kicked in. My internet's off, so I can't see the comments. All right, so let me see if I can get this off like we did last night. And it's coming off, not as well. Put this ink all over it. Yeah, it'll come back on in a minute. It did that the other day. Um, you're welcome, Chris. Happy birthday, boy. Doesn't look too happy. Birthday boy doesn't look too happy. Oh, that's because I asked him to get on here, and he hates that. Miss Donna Hood said you didn't look too happy. Miss Donna Hood? Kenny's mama? Hold on. Okay, Keith's mama. Keith's mama. <laughs> <laughs> he said, holy, uh-huh. Uh, what? Holy, holy. What? Did you see that and you said something? No, I was just listening to you. Oh, well, they're saying you said holy. Hold on. He was cracking us up. He said a bad... Oh, you said a bad word? No, I did not. Oh, that you, is a lot. Oh, I guarantee you, you said a bad word thinking that when what that cut it? off... Um, Clemson? <laughs> Tech? They're the saying word? you said a bad word probably because you thought when this went off, you thought this went off and that didn't go off. But he's getting I angry am, that I our, am, uh, our high-speed internet, I don't it curse. keeps going off like you know it, it automatically well, reconnects does make me angry. yeah i knew i knew that yeah. if anything that's what he's angry he if said I cursed anything, that was it. he said holy shit there's 127 people on here and you said holy shit. <laughs> well, that, <that's> possible. <laughs> he said that's possible. that's possible what did you say what does he was he saying it when the internet went out <laughs> They're all laughing. I hope you didn't hurt anybody's feelings. If, if you did, you need to block them. <laughs> Chris said if it did, you need to block them. Um, let's see if it'll let me reconnect. Um, I'm going to tell you, you completely put your arm right now. I don't know. Yeah, it's back on right now. I just don't know how to get back on, like, um, like the live. It must be on down. Chris, I'm calling in tomorrow. He's retired. They're all laughing at you. He said shit. Laugh out loud. It's okay, Chris. <laughs> That's what Cindy said. I think everybody likes me. He said, I think everybody likes me. Um... Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, all the girls just love you. Mm hmm. Yo, I gotta find see I gotta find where it is again, my my um my live so I can get still nothing seeing, but it's okay. Um 
That's a message from somebody. The crackle. Here we are right here. So let's get back on here so I so I can see the comments on Chris. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. Bless him. You know he has had him a few cocktails today on his birthday, sitting out on the porch. So um, we like Chris. <laughs> He's all yours. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't wait to tell him that. That would be my hubby. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Okay, we're gonna put welcome to our farmhouse on here. Buffy, I asked your dad to sit right here while I went and got your fingernail polish remover and the, the internet went off over there. So it was still on, but the laptop went off. So he went, holy shit. <laughs> with 127 people on here about the drinks. He was shocked how many people were on there. Oh, okay. I thought you meant it cut off. He was saying there's 120 something people on here. Okay. Enjoy your birthday and many more. My hubby would be flirting. Oh, he is no flirt, but he's, he's, he's being funny. Um, because, uh, I tell them all the time, I said, they probably like you better than me. They always like, what's Chris and Buffy in there cooking in the kitchen? Way bless your heart at him. I need to go, here, you want to hold this on the porch? I can see him out there watching TV. He's got a TV out there. He hates the word man cave, but his porch outside is, is his man cave. But when I say it all the time, going out to your man cave, he says, I don't do man cave. He absolutely does man cave. He just don't want to admit it. Ooh, and you know what I can use? I still have to go over to Chris's mom and daddy on her their porch. They still have that um, tobacco basket with all my clips on it. All right, we did white on here, and I kind of, well, hold on. Let's do this. And then we can see the magic. put terracotta on this. Need a little bit more red. Oh, he I thought y'all meant he was mad about the internet. He was saying because there were so many people on here, that's hilarious. He'll be so mad at me. Barbie's like, do you know that I had his, and it, one of his friends, his favorite thing is Fireball. A grown man. Well, other things. That's just kind of his thing. And uh, one of his friends came out here early and bought some uh, special something that this distillery made. It's like their own Fireball. And they brought him some, so... Hit tomorrow, he'll go, I can't believe you let me drink Fireball and then get on there and talk to 127 people. Um, this is going to be hilarious. We can still see Gather on your board. I hope not now. Yes, Peggy, we are. Nobody else is going to deal with my crazy but him. And um, nobody's going to put up with him but me. We just each other's perfect kind of crazy. Was it Moonshine Fireball? No, um, I'm not going to pronounce this right. South Carolina. I got some South Carolina people on here. Uh, which I don't know, it still may be in Georgia, but I think it might be South Carolina. I could be wrong. Defusky Island, am I pronouncing that right? Defusky, 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 I think it's Defusky Island. They have a brewery on it that they make 
And I say it's a brewery, it has to be a distillery if it makes liquor, right? They make a great vodka. It's really good. Um, and they were there getting some of that and they saw that they had made their own type of fireball. Um, so they knew it was his birthday and they were coming back today. Um, and uh, that's what they brought him. Uh, and I'm like, do you think? But it's his birthday and bless him, he just wanted to watch the master sit in his man porch. And uh, have him some cocktails. I don't blame him. Okay, so next we're gonna take our, that is hilarious, only my husband. Okay. Take our glue. That way we can do it on something flat and y'all can see the magic happen. Now what the girl did that I was watching on the video, she just took her like little thing like this and poured it all over it. And like, a, and see how like, you know, if I did it right now, this would ha be thicker. I mean, have thicker cracks than the thinner. So I'm gonna try to do it even all over. Cause I kind of like the bigger cracks. That way, cause it was harder to see on uh, the other thing. I know who brought that to him. Jane Brinson, I know you do too. And then she ate supper and hightailed it out of here. I mean, she was tired and went home. I said, mm-hmm. I'm just putting the white paint on it and this is just regular acrylic I'm gonna look up and I hadn't I probably could just test it myself but I just haven't yet the um if you can do it on with uh chalk paint I don't know if maybe something's in the chalk that would make it you know not do the little crackle finish just right um you know, my daddy was a bootlegger. He said the government of Kentucky liked his liquor. Where I'm from, Dry County, still in Eastern Kentucky, they called him once he went to prison. Oh, Sharon, listen, my daddy's family, I'm pretty sure I come from bootleggers in Hepsiba. He was, he was tried, I'm sure. He was tried. Tired, tired I'm sure. All right. So, once again, let's turn on this. Let me see if I can get you pretty close to it. And you can see it. See, it. see, it's already cracking right there. Now, I really poured it to it, so we might not have time. And I don't, because I don't want to hold you up. I was already 15 minutes late, and it's 9 o'clock now. To put the um, welcome on there. But you see how it's still it's crackling? Elmer's glue. And it'll work on that like no name white glue you can get from uh, Dollar Tree. But isn't that a pretty crackle? It's A here. <laughs> oh, you're a little bit behind us. I know when I was 
I, I was on still on the tractor like 715. So when I came in, I was trying my hair, y'all. I when I washed it this morning, I did not like straighten it or anything. So I like I tell you about that nasty wave. It was all coming. Hold on. Now that you can see that, look, it was all coming out. I'm gonna this right here. If I can pull it out, it was like out in here, on all over my head. Let me took that back in. All over my head, and when he walked in the door, he was like, you're going live? And I was like, I at least brushed my hair and took off my muddy clothes, but yeah. I knew I had this like little crackle thing, and I was like, I want to get it done. I don't think I had this plugged in very well. No, I do not. Yeah, so see, like, you know, I, I showed you on... I mean, I really showed you the, the technique on something that was a really a little too complicated. But just on something flat, like I showed you on my little terracotta, look at that. Look at that. And you saw how thick I put it on. That's why my cracks seem to be, you know, more spread out. If you, if, if you like it really, really fine, like that more fine that is i did a thin layer you just do a thin layer of your glue but that is now when you do it unless it starts drying or you put your heat gun to it or you know you just it's it, like right when you put it on it you're not gonna see it. You've got, the, the glue has to start drying. You can just see mine because I'm putting this heat gun on it. But when you do it at home, if you don't have a heat gun, you're just gonna have to let, you know, it dry on its own. Put it by, you know, it went a sun window. You can get your blow dryer. Everybody's got a blow dryer if you wanna see, see it happen fast. Um, you put, what, you been playing on your sex attractor? Is it 600 here? Oh, it's 6 o'clock there, Joyce. It's been a fun, fun night. Good. I'm showing y'all my hair. I done pulled it off. I'm talking about this all. Look at that. I mean, I look like... When you know, what's that lady? Oh, gosh, y'all, I'm burning it. What's the lady, Buffy, that starts off really ugly in the movie and gets prettier and prettier? What's her name? Nanny McPhee. You know, I look like Nanny McPhee. And then as the movie goes, she actually, you know, that old big old thing, y'all, <laughs> almost burnt this. Running my mouth. That's what my hair looked like. It was a trip just everywhere. You can seal that. Yes, you can seal it. You can seal it with a Mod Podge if you're, you know, you can, you know, Seal it with something really good, like any kind of polyurethane. I really want to try, try the one hour enamel from, um, what's that paint called? Wise Owl. Because they say it's a really good primer and it's really quick. Um, so I guess I, I don't know of anybody here where I live that sells it, so I'm going to have to buy it on the end. I may can find one of my crafters. Maybe they sell it so I can help support them. Somebody I watch. Okay. Hey, girl, I was born in Keysville, Georgia. You know, Joe, uh, uh, yeah, you come from bootleggers too. Then Let me take my hair down and read. That's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, if you was from Keysville, my daddy is from Hepsville, so you know they was all bootleggers. So, I have a heat gun, but that Ryobi glue gun got me scared. <laughs> yes, it can. Let's see. And I wanted to crackle this, but then I'm thinking, how is my stamp? Maybe I'll do... Like a, a black on it. Mm, 
center. Now I'm eyeballing this, y'all. I don't feel like um Yeah, let's do a black. Cause I'm trying to think brown. It's just gonna be all off. It'll make the brown will make any kind of brown will make that terracotta look more red. So I'm thinking. Let me get me a little bit of black out. I didn't bring anything up here to dab on. Did you look up diamond dust? No. But, you know, I went back and we're looking at the comments. And the first comment, because, you know, they don't come up um, like they should. The first thing it says, now, um, whatever your comment was. Now, be careful with that stuff. And I kept thinking, what were we talking about where somebody would have been? Be careful. And it was your comment, you know, about telling me what it was. Y'all hear my uh, little clip touching the... Um, table and I'm trying to rush and do all this because it's crackling stuff like I said the glue underneath takes a minute to dry to cure you can heat it up all you want but you want it to These don't pull up. Is it pulling up my it's pulling up my crackle? That's what I get for doing something too fast. So it kind of looks like it's a mess. But we can live with it. I don't know if I can live with that, y'all. It looks like a, a busted up road map. Hmm. Well, I wanted to show y'all the crackle finish, but I can't take that. I don't like it. It doesn't look good. I should not have crackled it. Dab you some white on it. I don't know. I gotta dab all that off of it. The black didn't look good. The crackle, if I'd have just left the crackle, but then it would just been a circle on the arch. Don't you get on my floor. All right, bless your heart. My husband's been cussed on my show. <laughs> Things just aren't going good for Sin. Sin's grabbing. Sin's grabbing me in the night. All right. Let me clean this little sucker up. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm seeing this. I thought, I thought only I did things like this. <laughs> no, we all real, girl. Okay. And I don't know about that terracotta color either. And white. I should have known when I was having to paint something white. Let me put me a little good old plaster on here. And then we'll just dress it a little bit. Can y'all believe it? I'm gonna have to pull out the dryer again. <laughs> okay, gotta go see uh, see what my grandson wants. We'll watch replay. All right, you have a good night. Did you get into some of Chris's Kool-Aid? No, I had to hang hooch tonight. I'm naming my road the gun Heffa. Oh my gosh, I love that. Well, mine got a few choice names yesterday. You must have burnt yourself. Yes, I'm telling you, do that at first. Okay. All right. There we go. Can't go wrong with with an antique, and y'all. All right, y'all, um, I'm doctoring. Now, when you just don't like something, you just don't like it. And I just don't like that. Okay. What if we don't put words on it at all? I think, look, I got this little thing. I wanted to put this little thing back on it. Yes, I can do that. And I can do it in this color. Stick to it, attitude. There's an M for my name. Okay. Let me clean this market off. I really like that.
What I did was I just put an M on it for man, my last name. Clean this up just a little bit. Cut it at an angle so it matches up so you don't see seams. Okay, so I did an M in the center. I'm trying to think if I want. Hey, my Harry. Hey, my Harry Potter. Okay, so I did an M in the terracotta pot for man. I like the wreath too. So, if I don't like this, I really like this little wreath. I bought it, I think, six bucks, which is a really good price. So, I like the wreath. Versus a little M. We'll just save my little M for something else. And we'll save these two little pins. I'm gonna almost want to push them back in here because to save them. I liked that. Okay. All right, now. Let's see the best way to put this. Ooh, I've got a little tag on it. And the thing is, you can put little lights around this, like if you wanted little lights. I'm thinking about taking one of my, nope, I know what it'll be. I've not seen. of this and it's that jute covered wire you don't mess around girl <laughs> tell Chris that M is in Mississippi colors laugh out loud I was terracotta colors yeah he I could hear him saying something like that now all right so I'm gonna put this around it so I don't see it like in between these little things, if I can. Maybe I've got to go down. I was coming on here to do something really quick, like we did Friday night, and I was like, they're going to love this. It's going to be really quick. And here I am, hour and a half later, because I was late. Twist it. Look, I got one real long arm, the other one, y'all. This is just not my night. But the crackle was pretty cool to learn. And the craft was pretty cool until I decided, oh, well, let me show you how it really crackles. No. Changing your craft midway. That's what happens. Oh, I love that. But, where'd I toss it over here? I'm not liking that he's a little weebly wobbly at the bottom. So, I'm going to lash him to the bottom. 
and then my weebles won't wobble and they won't fall down. They can't fall down. Weebles don't fall down. Right? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Yeah. Ours aren't even gonna wobble, so. <laughs> it's not going anywhere now. And you really can't see the two little pieces of wire tube back there. All right, y'all, I have got like a crazy setup up here. And if I don't get my craft little section in order up here, you know, I like Dixie Bell paint, but I hate their lids. I mean, downright hate them. They are the only lids that stick. I mean, I can have paint all over my Waverly lids, and they don't stick. They thread right. Sorry that happens. I have to give y'all my honest opinion on stuff. I mean, bye, the paint's beautiful, but if you don't keep that lid nice and tidy then all right you know i've got to put light like, lights would look really neat yes i think like some little battery operated lights um hold on let's see if i got some right here I'm going to tell you, for this little rehearsal dinner that we did the other night, um, I went on Amazon because I love, light, you know, I love battery-operated lights. And I was like, I know they make waterproof uh, battery-operated lights. These little battery-operated lights, and they're not timers. They were 12 of them for $12, and you can submerge these in water. I don't know about the little controller. I just kind of set that in a tulip. But, um, but yes, all these sat in water for a long, 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 long time, and everything was okay. And all I did on Amazon was Google waterproof wire lights. And I want to say they were like 12 for 12 bucks. I don't think they had a smaller package. But you see this one? But let's see. We had some little lights going round and round. For some reason, I don't think it's as cute with the lights um, as I thought it would be. Um, but it is really, really cute. Let me see if I can turn my light off. Um. No, that is really cute. I mean, like a little entrance for a wedding or a little entrance coming in your house, a centerpiece on your um, like coming in your house. That is really cute. But you know, you can get these uh, lights anywhere. Um, I'm not gonna put lights on it right now. I'm gonna put a little bitty bow. And just, I mean like a, just a, like what you put in your hair. Just a little tiny. For poots and giggles. Um, hair. I mean bow. Let's see. I know I brought some little tiny ribbon out here. But if not, I'm gonna make me some little tiny ribbon. Oh no, we saved this little ribbon. Oh, we saved this little ribbon. That would be really pretty. All right, so we're going to, and this is going to turn. I feel like I'm talking to myself, y'all, when I'm debating up here on what to do. Need a butterfly on it. I like the lights. Yes, I love the lights. Um. I kept my two little owls up here. What is that? Um, y'all, I mean, here I'm just I'm just kind of going through my little craft thing. Look at something like this. Like you've got, you know, these little tiny little pins that you can get from. I think I got these from Dollar General. I mean, you can like, you know, pin little uh, like maybe a picture or something with these little pins, little pictures or 
or anything like that. I always remember you can put little things in on fruits. I really want just like a tiny little bow in it. I don't know why this bottom is, is curling. Is the other side doing that? Yeah. Just gonna have to lose some of it. I don't know why it's curling. All right, so let's just make a little bow. Need a butterfly like lights, messy bow. Oh yeah, that's I go too wild with my messy bows. So we're just gonna put a cute little bow on it. And we're gonna keep it simple. I know something simple is not usually a sin thing, but after my two catastrophes on, or my one on messing up my little centerpiece, trying to show crackle, and I already showed it to you. All right, I like that. Stand back up. One little piece is coming down. There we go. So, $8. Dollar um, general for this. Now, you know, the crackle paint, that's up to you. And they it came, you know, white washed, and it came in two different color browns. It come with this, and I believe, mine said gather. I believe maybe the other colors might have had other words on it. If I'm not mistaken, they didn't all say gather. Um, but I can't remember what they said. Um... I love the simple, cute, yeah, cute. Thank y'all so much for the hearts and thanks for sticking with me when I had my brain, whatever. And now you know how to crackle. All you need is some Elmer's glue and whatever paint you wanna paint it. And like I said, with my terracotta pot, you know, I didn't paint anything under them. I just let the terracotta come through. So you can, if you have something that's already a color, just put the glue on it and um, then put whatever color, but no, the top color is gonna be the dominant color of your project. Um, uh, so, you know, like don't put black in the background and then white on the front and you want it to be more white, you can put white in the background and then put black in the front. That would be really cute. I'm gonna just about mess up my stencil wiping it the wrong way. I need to get me some bath of water up here if I want to use these stencils. Moving my M. Okay. Let me put something on that and make it get back flat. All right. While well, I'm cleaning this. All right. Thank y'all so much for it. Thank you. Have a restful day all. Um, day tomorrow turned out great. Small candles would look good sitting behind it. Yeah, like one of those, you could put one of those flickering candles behind it uh, that have like the, you know, not real flicker wick thing in them. Anything would look cute in it. Um, uh, stay, you know, like put pieces of glass behind it. Like if you wanted to take a, a mirror, and, not a mirror, a piece of glass and, um, Paint glue, you mix colors with glue. You can do your own stained glass. It's cute, night. All right, thank y'all so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow.